Hi right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So, I wanted to talk about that if you're a chosen one, you're meek, but you're not weak, right? This is this is the whole essence of like a godly person, a chosen one, a child of God, an anointed one. This is the, this is your whole essence. So, but meek doesn't mean what you think it means. Like the definition of meek, when you look it up, is someone who's like kind of like submissive or like yeah, just like submissive. So, a meek person is not. It's not necessarily submissive. Like it doesn't mean that you don't have a backbone. Like you're you're extremely you're an extremely strong person, but a meek person will submit. Uh, will submit not against their will. That's what it really means. Like you you submit to God, you submit to like a greater cause. But it's not someone that submits because they're scared, right? That's never you. God, God did not give you a spirit of fear. You don't submit because of fear. And also, the the meek person. It's kind of like the, the me. Get a good example. Oh, yeah. Um, so if you guys have seen Dragon Ball Z and the main character, Goku, right? And you know Goku is pretty much a chosen one because he came from... He was basically a low-class warrior. So he was a bum, like a peasant, basically. But going from a low-class warrior, though, he fought enemies that are way stronger than him and constantly just beat them, beat them, beat them, beat them, and humbled them, right? That's kind of how you are. I know it sounds kind of like funny in a way, but that's how you are. And if you've seen Dragon Ball Z, you see how his personality is kind of goofy. You'd be like, oh, you're gonna, you'll see this person. You're gonna be like, oh, um, oh, they just look uh, friendly. They, they don't really look like strong. They look weak. They're kind of goofy. They're really nice. They're kind of like shy in a way. They're kind of like, just like they kind of have like a personality that doesn't look intimidating though. But there's something, there's something about it where when that that you're like, there's something about being meek well like people could tell that it's like wait hold up like this person looks harmless but also harmful at the same time like you're like both and uh so yeah so he was meek and then people thought he was nothing right They're like oh it's a peasant like he's not he's not gonna do nothing up until you start fighting and that's how that's how it correlates with your life too if you're not fighting if you're not in war like you're you're in a spiritual war you're suffering through spiritual warfare you're going through like conflicts with people if you if you're not in in like war, that's how you're gonna act. You're gonna seem really friendly. You're gonna seem goofy. You're gonna seem uh, nice because that's how you are. You're loving and kind. But that's when you're not fighting. When you do go fight, though, when you do go in war, you're you're extremely vicious. You're extremely strong because you probably already seen this about yourself. Because whenever you're um, whenever you're going through a lot of things, like you push weight, like you 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 get a lot done like this, like quick, like you you go through things, like you power through things. And uh, this is why you seem to beat every battle as impossible as they seem. Like all these, all these giants you have to slay all the time. Whether that could be like a financial giant, or or that could be a situation that's impossible. Whatever that situation is, or you just have like nine, ninety different situations at once that you have to carry by yourself, only by yourself. And then you have opposition against you, so you're constantly fighting. You're constantly, you know, just throwing punches, throwing punches, trying to get through it. It's like that's how a chosen one's life goes. You don't, you don't have a. You don't have a path that has no resistance. Your path has a lot of resistance. There's a lot of warfare. There's a lot of demonic stoppages to try to go your way, like take your take your money, maybe take take your health, maybe take your friendship, maybe take your relationship, maybe take your uh, maybe maybe give you like spirits of like apathy, spirits of depression, anxiety. You got all these things thrown at you all the time, right? Just to stop you, because you know you know you you push you push weight. You already know this. This is how your personality is. It's basically you're a, you're a warrior who is extremely kind. That's how, that's how a chosen one is. It's a really kind warrior because you're a godly warrior. You're a child of God. So that's why I wanted to make the the example from Goku because I know I know a lot of you have probably seen Dragon Ball Z. It used to be one of my favorite shows when I was younger because I grew up with it, and uh, it was really funny because this is how this is how your life goes. You start from the bottom most of the time. Like, you legit start from the bottom. And you start from the bottom, and you're also looked at as, like, the bum, right? You looked at you looked at as, like, uh, oh, who is that kid? Especially in childhood. They're like, oh, who's this, who's this fat, nerdy kid or something? Or who is this, like, weird, like, weird? Which, which that was, that's incredibly mean to say, but that's how, that's how God created it, right? He created your life to go through basically every every experience in life. That's, that's how he builds your character, and that's how he builds your strength, so... Just like how it was for Goku, he came down. He came down on Earth, and he was a kid. And they're like, "Oh, who's this like peasant kid? You know, like power level of zero. That's how you're looked at. That's how you're looked at too. But 
because you start at these bottom places, you gain a lot of strength, you fight a lot of battles, and then you start surpassing people faster. You see, you see, if you start, if you start at a place where you're kind of below people, you know, like you, you kind of have a disadvantage, like no one's supporting you, no one cares about you, no one's, no one's doing that, people are trying to mess with you. If you start from a place like that, you gain strength way faster than anybody else. This is why whenever you get older, once you have your, you know, your glow up, what they call it, once you get exalted, once God is like, okay, I'm going to take you here. I'm going to, you already went through all these, you did a good job, I'm, now I'm going to take you here. Just, just how Goku, whenever he fought uh, Vegeta, like Vegeta was way stronger than him, right? His power level was like, in the thousands, Goku's was nothing. But then while Goku was fighting this beast, just like you, if you fight like a giant, you just, you notice that you're, uh, you're starting to get stronger because of it. You're like, oh, I thought this was going to kill me, but no, I'm actually getting stronger. That's how God gives you battles. It's like something that seems, seems like so big. You're like, oh, this one's for sure going to kill me. I'm going to perish. So it's like, no, you, you somehow end up beating that one because, because Christ strengthens you, and then you get stronger. Just how, just how Goku, while he was fighting uh, Vegeta, who, who was actually like an elite warrior, you know, elite warrior, he beat him, and he basically crushed his whole, uh, his whole ego because he's a chosen one, right? He's a, he's, a cho he's a chosen one. And this is like a really cliche-sounding thing, but this is, this is how your life goes, too. Since Goku started at the bottom, uh, nobody was supporting him. He looked, he kind of looked like a goofy kid. He kind of looked like nothing, like soft, looked weak. But he proved them wrong because that's because that's what a meek person is. A meek person is chosen. If, if you're meek, you're likely chosen. Because and it definitely doesn't mean you're weak though. You just appear that way just because uh, you're kind, right? But as soon as, as soon as you're in battle though, you you're, you're the complete opposite person. You're you're like a. <laughs> it's so it's so weird how God. I mean, it's so cool how God makes people. It's it's so, like, when you see a person one way, and then you see him another way, you're just like, wait, hold up. That's how people are with you. They're like, oh, I thought you were, like, you know, I thought you were, like, some some person who was, like, weak and soft. But then you go, you start fighting, you start going through things, and, like, you have, a, you have like, incredible strength. It's like, how, people are like, how does this person just keep, be, like, keep moving up? Like, keep, like, he doesn't, doesn't perish ever, like, doesn't let himself. It's because... That's how that's how your life is. You're 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 a meek warrior, which means you're just strong. But you're not you're not a person who um, who's like always aggressive. You know, especially if you're a guy, you always gotta be always gotta act hard or whatever. You gotta act tough. It's like nah, that's that's not that's not even who you are. You're a godly person. You do everything, you do everything in love, and uh, and you constantly fight battles. So how can a person be weak if you're fighting battles all the time? A fighter is not weak, especially constant fighting. So that's how you are. You're a uh, you're like you're kind of like Goku from Dragon Ball Z. You're kind of like that, uh, kind of like the person who like everyone thought wasn't anything. They're like, oh, he's not gonna do nothing. He's not gonna do anything. He's never gonna go anywhere. He's soft, weak, scared. But you're you're none of those things. That's just how God. Uh, that's just how God builds your character. That's how, that's how God builds people who are strong. He he puts them in situations where they're at huge disadvantages, but then he he rises them up uh, on top of everybody. That's how God does it. And if you're chosen, that's how your life is going to be. So don't uh, don't trip about your life. If you're in like a season of just lack, a lot of pain, a lot of uh, battles, people are kind of looking at you as like you're, you're a bum or something. People are looking at you as like this. You're maybe suffering in multiple different ways. It could be multiple, multiple suffering. It, it could feel like you're kind of, you're kind of walking up a, like a never ending mountain with a freaking rock coming down. A boulder coming down, so you have to push that boulder while going up the mountain. Which is like, how do I even do this? But it's because God, God is the one who gets you through these. That, that's your true strength. So, but yeah, that's how your life is. So if you're, if you've had people say uh, you're like soft or something, they don't, they don't, they only say that until they actually see you do something. If you, if you're just, if you're just kicking it, if you're just chilling, like a meek person, a chosen one, just, just your whole presence, which is really nice. Like people could feel your presence, but your presence looks harmless in a way, right? Which is a really good thing. This is why uh, children love you. Animals love you. Uh, confident, good people love you. But this is also why people try to, uh, people kind of try to test you, right? Cause they, they're going to be like, Oh, who is this person? But then once you, once you fight back, like they kind of go, they're, they're kind of like, Oh wait, it's like, you're a, it's like, you're an intimidating, you're, you're like scarily intimidating in a way, but not, 
not just when you're walking. It's like when you start to speak, when you start to talk, and people can see like what you're actually about. That's when you're intimidating. They're gonna be like, oh wait, this person's really, this person's just, like, sharp as iron. This person, yeah, as sharp as iron. It's like, wait, hold up, I thought this person was just like some like um some kind of like timid little shy person. It's like no, they think they think you're you are because that's the way they perceive you, right? And that's how that's how a meek person looks. A meek person when they're not fighting, when they're not going through battles, they just look they just look innocent and uh. They just look innocent and kind of like they're, they're not going to bother anyone, which, I mean, you're not going to bother anyone, but your, your presence, that's how a meek person's presence is, if you know what I mean. And then, and then uh, this is why you've also had people, like, come up to you a lot. You've had people try to over, overpower you, but as soon as you open your mouth, as soon as you talk, you overpower them back. You've had people try to do certain things. They think, they got, they think they're smarter than you, you end up being smarter than they are. And no, this is like no ego involved. This is just how your life goes. People, uh, people can't really get a reading on you. They're like, is this person weak? Is he strong? Is he shy? Is he confident? Does he do this? Does she do that? Is he this? Is he that? Is he this? It's like you're you're a person who's really uh, unreadable. You're not really readable because you're totally different. You don't fit in with the world. You have a lot of different ideas. People can't tell what you're thinking. You don't you don't fit in. So some people are gonna perceive you as weak some people are going to perceive you as strong some people are going to perceive you as weird but that's that's kind of how you are and uh, just just like goku kind of had to fight people who thought were superior to him and he beat them that's how you're that's how you're uh that's kind of that's how a chosen one is too that's probably how your life is going especially uh if you're watching this video i know you guys can relate you probably have people in your life who think they're like better than you are or like superior than you are for no reason either it's like they don't even have a reason why they think they're superior. They just they just think they're superior, and uh, you always end up outdoing them. And this is why people are so this is why people are so jealous of you because they, they want you to feel like inferior is so bad because they they know like you you don't feel inferior like they know <laughs> you can't you don't feel inferior because you already have a feel you already have a feeling inside you that you, you feel like you're uh, you feel like you're destined for a bigger purpose right because God put that in you so you you don't ever feel like inferior. And people, people see that, people see that you don't really, uh, you're not really like affected by other people, you know, you don't see, you don't see people who are perceived as like socially superior, you know, you don't see them kind of as like a, like you, you don't idolize people, right? Cause you, that's the same, you're not supposed to idolize anyone but God. And when people see that you're, uh, you're not really bothered by them. It's not like you don't care about them. Like these people could be highly talented people, highly, very talented people, but you're not, you're not over there, you know. As they call it, simping for that person, right? you're gonna be like, "Oh, who is this person?" Like you're gonna idolize like a human being. And it's like, and uh, that's why a lot of people like start to hate on you because they're like, "Why doesn't this person?" Uh, like they're like, "Why doesn't this person?" It's like it's it's mostly egotistical people, right? They're like, "Why doesn't this person like just, uh, think I'm better than they are?" Right? So they're gonna try they're gonna try to like forcefully uh, act like they're better than you, and it never works. That's how that's how your life is. You're always fighting people who think uh, not actually fighting. You know what I mean? Unless I mean, some of you have probably been in fights. Uh, probably most of you have been in a fight before, or a few fights. It's just how life is. Uh, but yeah, so it's like you're constantly going head to head with someone. Someone who probably thinks they're better than you are. Uh, you prove them wrong. You go through another one. They think they're better than you. You prove them wrong. You, you go. Uh, you get someone that's narcissistic. For no reason, you're just like, you're like, come on now, you know how this is gonna work. They, <laughs> you can see, you see how you're constantly going through like situations like that. Like these people try to hurt you so bad, they try to like put you down, and tell you you're nothing, and then all all they do is motivate you, right? This is how God uses a lot of these people. This is why um, you can't trip either if you have like negative people around you, or if you just have like negative situation around you, because that negative situation is gonna make you stronger every time. You probably already noticed too. Every time you go through like a bad season or like something really negative, you get a lot smarter and stronger because of it. But uh, this is mainly how your life goes. This is why. Um, this is why I say. I said in one of my last videos, where chosen ones aren't like aggressive people, and it's a good thing because you're meek, right? That's how a meek person is. You're not like aggressive, just like in Dragon Ball Z. Like was Goku ever aggressive? No, he was like the goofiest one. But the goofiest one was the strongest one too. That's just how it is. Cause uh, so someone who's truly, someone who's truly actually strong is always gonna be really kind. You you guys have probably seen people who are you know are like powerful, like you know they're strong. 
they're like the kindest people you've ever met. You're like, hold up, like, you're like, hold up, aren't you supposed to be aggressive? It's like, no, the aggressive are like the li like the little dog, right? You know, you know, um, you know, whenever you've seen like those little dogs, right, those, the small ones like this big, like Chihuahua, they always barking. They're always, rawr, rawr, rawr. Like, you're like, man, get this dog away from you. <laughs> but um, but then you see the big dog. You see the big dog, and that big dog is super nice. It doesn't even bark. It just chills. It relaxes. That's kind of that's kind of how you are, right? Because you're naturally a big dog, and this isn't uh, this isn't anything to like you know boast about. This is this is just how you are. You're 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 a big dog. You're meek and everything. Like you're not really like afraid. You're not really afraid of anything. That's how God made you. But because because you're built like that, you're also gonna have to go through a lot harder experiences. You're also gonna have to constantly fight battles. You're gonna have the devil against you. You're gonna have this. You're gonna have that. Cause you're a natural. You're a natural born warrior. You're a natural born fighter. You're supposed to be a fighter. Like you, like if you're if you're truly a a man of God, or if you're an anointed one, or in a a woman of God, anointed woman, like you're gonna be a fighter. Like you, you're just gonna be a fighter. That's how you are. Cause you go through spiritual warfare. You go through a lot of warfare uh, through other people. So you're gonna be a natural fighter and. That's how you are. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys understand this video. I know you guys probably do. Um, but yeah, that's what a meek person is, and that's that's what every chosen one is—is is meek. You just you're just meek. You're not a person who's who uh, hurts other people, messes with other people, has malicious intent against any, has ulterior motives. That's why I, that's why I always say like children love you, animals love you. Uh, anyone who's anyone who's more pure at heart loves you. Uh, it's always the people who are wicked they hate you because you expose them immediately. Because, like I always say, you're a light. You expose. You expose without saying anything. You don't even have to speak. You just see people see that you see who they are. Like like right away, you can just see through them. That's just a spiritual gift that you have. It's a spiritual gift of discernment from the Holy Spirit, and you see that. So let's say you are you're a meek warrior or just a meek person. A meek person is a warrior, but it's definitely not the definition that you see. It's not a sub. It's not a submissive like, like, it's just not someone who's weak, right? you're meek but you're not weak because if you're weak you you not be you would not be still standing after all the battles you face after all the fighting after all the prolonged suffering that you had to go through or that you're still going through you would have you would have probably just said you know what f this i'm done but it's like nah you can't because god god always kind of had you in the palm of his hand so it's like you go through something so so massive and you still somehow beat it it's like how do i just keep being these things <laughs> but yeah, that's how you are though you're a natural born uh you're a natural born leader, natural born conqueror, you're a warrior, uh, you're strong, just don't be deceived by the enemy, the enemy's all lies, that's the father of lies, this is why you've probably been gaslit a lot your whole life, it could be from people, it could just be from whoever it was, just certain uh, social situations, you, you could have gaslit uh, yourself on accident, but gaslighting yourself only happens because of people, you don't, you don't ever gaslight yourself unless you've heard it from other people, then you like internalize those those lies, right? That's what that's what the devil does. He kind of tries to sprinkle a little bit of lies on you, but God constantly proves that that is a lie based on your circumstances. It's like, how can you be weak when you went through this? How can you be a uh, how can you be a coward when you when you did that, right? How can you be how can you be a loser when you you you've uh, succeeded in this many things? You've done this, you've done that, you've done that. So it's like they're all lies and everything. So don't don't believe any negative thing about you. It's all it's all unless unless you've done bad things in your life which a lot of people have, it's like, I mean, not a, people aren't perfect. If you've done bad things in your life, don't forget God forgives you. So forgive yourself too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this one's super long, but I kind of wanted to uh, explain this one really well. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like, and don't forget to comment below. All right, God bless you guys. and I'll see you guys in the next video.